Hello YouTube, welcome to my second video on this Classic Vibe 70s Jaguar where I'll be doing my little electronic mods of putting a three-way toggle switch for the, to operate the pickups here and changing the bridge pickup switch to use as a series and parallel switch. Okay, so what you're going to need to do this is if I can get the switch out of my box of switches is a three way mini three way toggle make sure it's on 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 not on off on otherwise this mod won't work for you i got this off ebay i think around 10 bucks i'll try and find a link and put that in the description if you're interested in doing this yourself uh, apart from that that's kind of all you really need to do this mod i will be shielding the guitar as well so so firstly desolder your pickups and your um, your controls and take all of that stuff off the guitar. Okay, so now with all of the electronics removed, I can begin shielding all of these cavities and also the back of the pick guard here with some conductive adhesive copper tape. Okay, so that's the first cavity done. Notice how I've got some bits overlapping onto the screw holes where the uh, control plate goes on. That's to make sure that this copper wiring conducts with the metal of that plating. And also there'll be kind of a strip going along here, which will make sure it connects with the pick guard um, shielding because it all needs to be conductive. So. so yeah, simply go ahead and do the rest of your cavities like this. Okay, so after a while, our cavities will look like this. Notice that I've got bridges between each of the cavities to make sure it's all conducting. And I've also done the back of the pick guard where there are electronic components. You don't have to do the whole pick guard. To test that the shielding is doing what I want, I'll um, check between the different cavities here and there should be a beep if it's conducting. Yep, so that all seems to be working. We can now move on to the wiring part of this video. So as I said before, I'm going to be using a three-way switch to control my pickup switching while in the lead channel. So that will kind of sit there. So first what you're gonna to have to do is remove all the switches and then mark out and using a rat tail file, file a hole for this switch to sit in. This process won't take you all of that long at all. You just have to carefully file in the middle on each side of the switch with a rat tail file until you have a circular hole big enough to fit the switch. Okay, so after some filing, you'll have a nice hole where that switch used to be and your new three-way switch should fit in quite nicely like so. End up with something a bit like that. Obviously tighten it up a little bit more. And that's your, that's going to be your three-way toggle. So you can then put the other two switches back on and we'll get to the wiring. Okay, so now it's coming to the reassembly of all the wiring. Now I'll be following the um, diagram that I'll be providing at the moment, but basically your gray wire is your hot. So that has to go down 
into your lead control cavity here and then it will go onto the hot of your input jack make sure you get the wires onto the right one red wire goes to back down to the volume pot now if I was someone who used the volume to roll up and down a lot and use different sections of the volume I just go pretty much use it um, full or completely off I would probably install a treble bleed between these two lugs here which maybe I'll do that in a separate video but um, for now I'll just keep it all stock there Okay, after that you should be done with all your messing around in this control cavity. Be sure to reattach your grounds. Okay, before we put the, uh, these controls back in, we're going to wire as much of it as we can outside of the guitar body just to make it easier. Uh, notice I've just super glued these screws in just for the aesthetics, so it kind of doesn't have these big holes where the screws used to be. So let's get started with that. We'll start by doing the series parallel switch. This lug in the top left has to be going to ground so to do that you can simply I'm just using the ground that was already there on this switch the blob of solder so attach it to that now we're going to be adding a length of wire that has to be able to reach this switch from the uh, rhythm controls plate or that slider switch there so make sure you cut the wire long enough this wire will attach the bottom left Lug. Now I have to add a short wire just jumping the top right terminal to the bottom middle terminal or lug, whatever you want to call them. Doing it with the camera in the way makes it all the more fun. And I'm just going to wait to get the lead wire from the neck pickup also in that lug before I solder it together just to make things easier. So now this can pretty much go back onto the guitar. So thread that white wire back through the hole between the cavity and that's going to be going into the 
cavity for the rhythm lead switch. And you can solder that to the bottom middle lug of the switch. And you should be done with the rhythm lead switch cavity now. So you put all that, make sure the wires aren't getting pinched and it all fits in nicely. Okay, now the fun bit. So I guess we'll do the neck pickup first. Both lead wires can go through to our controls. Your yellow or your hot wire from the neck pickup will go onto the top right terminal of your series parallel switch with that other short jumper wire. And you can add your the ground from your neck pickup onto the ground on the side of the switch. Okay, now what you have to do is get your ground pickup. And hopefully you can see this. There's a little wire connecting the shield claw to the ground for the pickup. What you have to do is snip or unsolder that little wire and then run a new wire going from the claw to ground because you can't have the claw connected to the ground of your pickup for the series parallel to work properly. So you see that little wire now is disconnected so you're going to need to run another wire from that point going to ground anywhere. You can even ground it to your shielding if you've shielded the guitar. So once you've done that You'll want to run your ground and your hot from the pickup up into that control cavity. Okay, so now you wire the ground from your bridge pickup to the top middle lug of your series parallel switch. And now you and you wire the the hot onto the switch. I like to wire it across both, so I'll probably strip a bit more of the sheathing to allow that. Make it all nice and neat. So that's what that connection will look like. So the wire here going from your strangle switch will now go to the common of your three-way switch, which will be the two middle lugs. Okay, now you're gonna to have to do a similar thing with the green wire that ran from your rhythm circuit controls control switch I should say and you can bridge that on the two left lugs here and ground also ground that bare wire Okay, the final wire that you're going to want to wire is that green wire that you had before, which will be going from your tone pot up to the strangle switch, as per the diagram.
at this point everything should be wired up so you can put the jag back together and then test it okay now let's see if this is working so if this is working when you put your rhythm lead switch here to lead position this will function as your toggle control for your pickups so down is bridge pickup test that by just hitting a pole with a screwdriver and the neck shouldn't go so that's working now in the middle position both should be on and in neck just neck so now what this should do this rhythm lead switch when you've got both pickups on it sounds like this normally but then when you engage it have way more output, which you should hopefully hear. I'll do it again. So that's your kind of pseudo humbucker kind of sound. Now, one thing to note when you've got this switch engaged, this will turn this switch into a kill switch. So if you go there, you'll have nothing. You can still use bridge pickup but also if you go to neck pickup it'll also be a kill switch but to get it working normally just turn the rhythm lead switch off it's this common kind of thing with this wiring which you'll see is the same with a lot of the Jazzmaster or other Jaguar series parallel wiring out there if you do a google search of diagrams but yeah if you've got it off it all works as normal so really this is just added functionality anyway it so you'll get all of the normal sounds that you would usually get out of your jag, rhythm and lead, plus the added series both pickup combination. Okay, so I found a spare treble bleed on uh, one of my old volume pots. And you can see here pretty well how it's connected. It's pretty much a cap and resistor wired in parallel. Basically what it does is it lets treble come through while you're rolling down the pot. So instead of going just a little bit and then all of a sudden the tone goes to mud, it'll still let the treble go through and you'll still get a reasonable amount of clarity rolling the pot down. It just sounds a bit more natural to my ear. So. Um, I'll show you what the stock volume pot kind of sounds like without and then I'll put the other one in and hopefully you'll hear the difference. Okay, so this is how the stock volume pot behaves. So you can go to about there, about a quarter of a turn before the, um, the volume loses all of its treble frequencies and turns into mud which I don't like, so let's compare what it sounds like with the treble bleed. Okay, and now this is what the treble bleed sounds like. Okay, so hopefully you can hear that that's a much more natural and, in my opinion, usable sweep of the volume control. So if you're thinking about putting a treble bleed in, that's what it will sound like on this guitar. So yeah, something to consider with the volume pot on this guitar, a uh, treble bleed if you want to do that. It's pretty easy to do. Just a, a cap and a resistor wired in parallel to the volume pot. All right, cool. So that's the uh, all the JAG mods that I wanted to do for now on the guitar. Um, the only thing I might improve in the future, if it's even possible, if I can find a 3PDT slide switch small enough, is use that for the series parallel switch instead, so that I don't have a kind of a kill switch when I change the neck pickup here, or if I changed to rhythm circuit while the series parallel is in series mode. But as it is, it's not that big a deal for me anyway, because I know exactly what it does, so I'm not likely to accidentally try to switch to neck, expecting the neck to come out while I've got the series engaged. So it is possible with the 3PDT switch to um, make sure that if you accidentally toggle 
the neck or something while the series is engaged, you're not going to kill kill your guitar's output signal. So um, that's the only kind of improvement I can see for now on this wiring diagram for what I'm trying to achieve, which was basically a, a jag with all of its original functionality in terms of um, sounds it can achieve. So I can still use the rhythm and lead circuit exactly how it would be if it was stock. But um, yeah, as I said before, I find the switching not very ergonomic with a separate switch for neck and bridge pickups. So that was always gonna be something I would change to a three-way toggle so I could easily switch between. And yeah, the series parallel is really just bonus added functionality.